everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be only eating American sweets for the next 24 hours. I think it's pretty safe to say that I miss being in America. Around this time, I would normally be in LA for a few weeks and all that's coming up on my Snapchat memories and my Instagram memories is LA pictures and I just need to channel that energy in myself again. So I thought what better way to channel the American energy than eating like I was in America for the next 24 hours. A couple of amazing American sweet shops on Instagram have sent me the biggest boxes full of things that I I honestly haven't even heard of and I'm gonna be eating them all and putting them to the test I'm ready this is just the perfect video for me and hopefully as well it will give you guys some ideas on some other sweets and chocolates that you might want to try because honestly when I opened these boxes sweet heaven I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that started just a little overview of some of the snacks today so this is actually all from snack attack uk i have got a bunch of drinks pop tart stuff oreo stuff basically just american snacks overload and this box here is from candy shack so we've got a bunch of cereal star we have got crisps and then all in this box is just so many american sweets that i can't even tell you so this video is probably going to be one of my favorite food videos i've ever filmed first meal of today we are going to be having the Reese's Puffs cereal when it says it's made with real Reese's peanut butter and I love Reese's so I think I'm really gonna like this. Then for drinks we have got some Kool-Aid so we have got three different flavours to choose from. I've got cherry, blue raspberry and pink lemonade so I think I'm actually gonna go for the pink lemonade one and I've just got to add some water and add some sugar and then I'm gonna add my cereal. It literally smells like pure pure peanut butter yeah it's like the whole coin add some milk and we are good to go this smells incredible by the way and so does this i don't know how well they're going to match together that is genuinely like eating a spoonful of peanut butter like crunchy peanut butter amazing amazing creation it is really sickly so i would only ever have like a really small bowl of it at a time if you love peanut butter this is a cereal for you it's like pure sugar I feel like my teeth are gonna like rot away after drinking this. It's really good, but I can't even tell you how sugary it is. Obviously I did put in a spoonful of sugar because that's how much it told me to put in, but oh. That's one of those drinks where like you drink it, but it doesn't quench your thirst. So you carry on drinking it and then you need to buy another drink. The cereal, big fat yes. The drink, not too sure on. It's snack time. So I feel like in America, you can get every single flavor M&Ms ever. And here you can literally only get like two flavors. I absolutely love M&Ms as well. The mini M&Ms literally are the way to my heart. So to try, I've got some bite-sized cookies made with M&M minis, which I've never seen before. Then I've got three flavors of M&Ms. I've got fudge brownie, I have got caramel, and I have got some pretzel ones. First of all, let's try the cookies because I didn't even you could get these they're literally like maryland miniature cookies just with the m ms in they're amazing <gasps> wow so you think cookies are cookies and like all the cookies taste the same but they really don't like these cookies have such a specific taste about them and then when you bite into the m m you get that like m m signature chocolate taste these are amazing i wish you could buy these from like tesco because if you could i'd be buying these all the time then we've got these. First of all, I am going to try the caramel ones. I love how they package these as well. And in America, you can buy them in massive bags. For like $5, it's great. Mm. I think the taste is really nice, but the texture, like it's so chewy. Whereas like M&Ms are normally meant to be just like a couple of bites and you can swallow them. Do you know what I mean? I love the taste because I love caramel, but I don't think I'd opt for caramel M&Ms. I'd rather just get like a caramel chocolate instead let's try the pretzel ones i feel like i may have tried these whilst i was in america before but i completely forgot what they taste like they're good actually i really wasn't sure if i was gonna like these because normally i'm not a massive fan on pretzels recently i've been eating a lot of flips so those like chocolate covered pretzels so similar vibe to them yeah these are good these are the ones that i'm excited for these fudge brownie m ms first of all love the color of the packet very funky best one amazing <laughs> 
it has the exact texture of a fudge brownie as well like you know how they're like oozy and like gooey it tastes exactly like that out of all this stuff i would definitely say the fudge brownie and the cookies are my favorite i do really like these two but i definitely wouldn't pick them out of a lineup but these two yeah love next up we have got mum in the hot seat and she is going to be trying a twirl caramel so basically a caramel twirl i wish they'd done these in this country Anna. yeah i know i wish they did all of this here mm. is it good it's not caramel it's so it's a normal twirl but the chocolate inside is white oh okay so it's a white yeah. chocolate twirl it's really nice yeah i can imagine i love white chocolate that is so good can i have the other one good <laughs> incredible mm. you can really taste the white chocolate as well can't you yeah you can really taste white chocolate that's amazing yeah do you think better than the normal mm. for dinner we have come to taco bell because taco bell is the best american fast food place ever along with wendy's i absolutely love it oh here we go can i have a fries bell grande can i have a taco supreme and a beefy milk gorilla here are all the taco bell items that we will pass them out and then i'll show you guys what we got <laughs> What are they for? We've got the fries at Belle Grande and then we've each got a taco. I've recently been back at getting into tacos and the taco is amazing. You forget how good they are. It's so empty, isn't it, Anna? Mm. No cue. No cue, nothing. Also, shout out to the two girls who just saw us driving in. They were screaming so loud. It was the sweetest thing. And a wave to them. What, your wraps are a 10? Yeah. I actually really reckon you'd like the cheese, Atticus. No. It's basically mm. cheese on toast, I suppose. This wrap, hopefully, it's quite good. <gasps> yes, this is bigger! Mm. Let me and Mum have got the same. out of 10, Mum. Definite 10. Love it. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh. <laughs> We're just in the middle of um, eating our Taco Bell. I've just finished my Taco Bell. Um, Mummy and Anna are still eating. And um, we just saw some viewers um, what were screaming. They would say, so weird. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> yep. We need a poo, cuddly toy. Hello, why? We need a poo. Bye. What? I'm home. I'm going to dive into my fridge stuff. So, we're going to try some of the Pop Tart bits that I have this time. I think I've got some little bits under here as well. Pop Tart bites. These look amazing. I also have some strawberry ones. Pop Tarts are literally some of my favorite things in the world. I feel like these are going to be my favorite. I'm also going to try this. It's the Fanta Green Apple. And I think I'm really going to like this because green apple stuff. Very nice. Always oh, smells like, you know, the sour chew it. it smells like that. That tastes like a non-alcoholic version of sours. It's like the Luca said in my other video. And if I'm going to have something that tastes like sours, I feel like I might as well have the sours and just get a little bit of a kick out of it. I think something that I always find is every like drink in America is so sweet and it's just so sickly that it doesn't like quench your thirst. And I do genuinely believe it's like one of those things that because it makes you want to buy more, if that makes sense. Like after drinking that, I know I need to go and down a load of water. First of all, we're going for the Pop-Tart Crisps and these are Frosted Strawberry Licious. I've never seen these before. Oh, okay, so they're not like crisp crisp. They're like crisps, but not. Oh, they have stuff inside. Wait, I'm confused. These are just like normal Pop-Tarts then. I don't get it. Oh, it says not for the toaster. So these are like normal Pop-Tarts that I guess you just don't put in the toaster then. These are nice, but strawberry just isn't my favourite flavour. Because I've just tried the frosted strawberry ones, I'm not going to open this packet yet. I'll give this packet to someone who's going to eat the whole packet. So I'm going to try the frosted chocolate fudge tasty filled pastry bites. These look so fun. These are the type of things that I would have loved in my Happy Meal. Happy Meal? mcdonald's is always on my mind pat lunch that's what i meant oh wow these are so cool oh my gosh they're a lot thicker than what i thought they were going to be i thought they were going to be like really thin and like wafery i don't know but these really did not come to play guys these are insane oh i want more phenomenal i've run out of words to describe how good they are you get quite a few in each packet as well you get like seven or eight. Oh gosh i really am living the life now all i need is a view of venice beach or a view of like the Hollywood Boulevard that'd be lush outside my window and I'm spiritually there. Good morning everyone. It is now the next day and I am going to head downstairs and I'm going to get some breakfast. I'm very excited. We've got some pop tarts and we've got some cereals to try. I'm most excited for the Oreo cereal because like it's Oreo cereal. These are our choices. We have got the Oreo O's which like I was saying I cannot wait to eat. We have got the Lucky Charms which I tried so many times. Every time I go to America I buy this cereal and then I've also got a box of frosted chocolate chip 
Pop-Tart. So I don't think I'm going to try these because I already know I like these and I just want to save the box. So I am going to have a bowl of these and one of these for my breakfast. This Oreo cereal kind of gives me like Wheatos vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like it literally just looks like a box of Wheatos. Oh my God, they're like frosty. They look like Oreos. Let's give them a go. That tastes exactly like mini Oreos. And the milk tastes like the inner, like, creamy filling bit. So basically, it just feels like I'm eating mini Oreos. Thoroughly impressed by this. I really wish the UK had a better cereal option because nothing can top the cereal aisle in Target. I'm sorry, if you've been to America and you know what I'm on about, you're going to know exactly what I mean. When you compare the cereal aisle at an American supermarket versus a UK one, there's just no comparison. And then we've got my pop tart. I am just going to pop this in at the toaster for like 30 seconds. Pop tart is just, oh, this flavour is really nice actually. My absolute favourite is the just chocolate brownie ones, or is it just chocolate fudge? No, I think it's chocolate fudge brownie. Those are nothing will top those ones. The birthday cake ones are quite nice as well, but this is very similar. I have now got a bunch of American snacks to try. So the first thing I'm going to try are the Jolly Rancher hard candies. Now I have actually had these before. The first time I went to America back in 2016, I was obsessed with them because I remember seeing every single YouTuber talk about them, just like every YouTuber in America spoke about candy corn so you get blue raspberry green apple cherry grape and watermelon i remember absolutely hating the watermelon one they're like little hard candies like this and they just come in individual wrapping yes immediately you get this incredible like such strong blue raspberry flavor these do take a while to eat though so just give me one sec amazing those sweets have got some longevity in them like if you want a bag of sweets that are going to last you a long time i would recommend these because they take so long to eat crisp time we have got some flaming hot crunchy cheetos cheetos are just like a classic american crisp at the moment oh my god why they're so red you can really see how hot these are going to be like look at the actual color of the crisp oh my god i'm ready for my mouth to burn okay not as spicy as i thought my tongue is definitely on fire though oh my god what <sighs> My eyes are watering. My tongue's red. I would not be able to sit there and eat any more than like three at a time. How do people eat those? Thank God I've got a drink. This is the sparkling orange flavor Chupa Chups drink. And I've never tried a Chupa Chups drink before. Kind of just smells like orange juice. And it is, it's pretty much orange juice with like a little bit of something else, but I can't figure out what the something else is. Maybe like a bit of lemon. I'm normally not a huge fan on orange juice, but because this has got a little hint of something else, it's quite nice. I don't think I'd buy it myself. I just normally opt for either water or Coke if I want like a sugary drink. Finally, we have got two chocolate bars to try. Now, I'm going to try this one first. I feel like everything in America you can get in birthday cake flavor. I just feel like birthday cake flavor is such a common flavor, but we just don't have that over here. And this is a limited edition Kit Kat in birthday cake. I think this is so sick. As soon as I opened the box and saw this, I was like, oh, probably because I also do love white chocolate and this is white chocolate. So look how cool that is. It's literally like confetti inside the Kit Kat. We knew it was going to be good. It literally tastes like icing, like pure birthday cake icing with little sprinkles on top. That's the most accurate food I've tasted to match the flavor. Like that genuinely does taste like a Victoria sponge. And finally, I am going to be trying a Twix cookies and cream like there's no way we'd ever get that flavor here in the uk i wonder if people who live in america come to the uk and love or hate our chocolate section because i personally when i go to america i just all i can think about is the chocolate section and just the whole like food section as a whole i just wonder what they think of ours here like do they think it's impressive do they think it's bad like i don't know if you live in america and you've come to the uk let us know what you think of our chocolate section because i'm very intrigued very nice that tastes like one big oreo or like one big like cookies and cream ice cream there's a couple of bits i want to show you that i didn't actually get the chance to eat so i've got the mrs freshly's oreo brownie which i would love to try but i'm just stuffed and then from the same brand i've got mrs freshly's mini donuts and these are meant to be amazing and then i've also got here these handy snacks and it's oreo sticks with the oreo cream and you like dip it in thank you so much to the two instagram pages that actually sent me out all of these products i'm so so thankful and i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye